Organics are very sustainable, and part of sustainability is doing more with less. That's really what it comes down to. We're talking about organic tomatoes and sustainability. It's all tied together. It's a, it's a complete system that uh, is different from conventional agriculture, and it starts with the soil. Soil is a living thing. It's just not dirt. You have the biological activity in the soils, which is really the basis of your farm, and we, we need to make sure that we're providing all of the right nutrients in that soil, not just to feed the plants, but to feed every other microbe that's in that ground, helping you out to produce a crop. And the way you do that is through organic means. We use a lot of compost and cover crops on our organic soils. Organic soils, because of the organic matter that levels that we have, they're superior to our, our conventional soils. We don't have a lot of that soil loss like we would in, in conventional agriculture. So when the tomatoes leave my fields and go to the plant, uh, if they're going to be whole peeled, diced, they, we need to remove the skin. They go to a processor that removes the skin with steam peeling. There's another form of doing that, it's called caustic peeling, that you use a chemical reaction that, that removes the skin from the tomatoes. Uh, that's not good for the environment. There's a waste that comes off of that process versus steam is just water. And so the steam peeling, it, it ends up just a really, really great uh, natural way of, of removing the skins from the, from the tomato. Steam peeling is really core to what we do. We steam peel 100% of our organic tomatoes. We heat the tomatoes just enough of the skin and just below the surface to boil the, the skin and it gets to where it'll pop off and then we use these little rollers that, that pull it off. But the cool thing that I love about the steam peel is not just that there's no chemicals used, but it's that we're able to use 100% of that tomato. So anything that doesn't come out uh, of the peeler to be diced or say for whole peel, it all goes towards sauces, pastes, and purees. The only thing we don't use here in tomatoes is the skins themselves and the seeds. We send those out to cattle feed and uh, the cattle, uh, they, lo they love it. When we're running organic tomatoes, we're generating about half of our power through running that steam turbine generator. And then the second pass of that steam is actually what we're cooking with. I would say about two thirds of our tomatoes go through our evaporation process. And the cool thing about that is since tomatoes are 95% water, we're actually importing in water, if you will. We're bringing in water through our fresh tomatoes, taking that water and using it in all sorts of processes in the plant. And then we're actually reusing it for other agricultural purposes when we're done with it. And so we're continually reusing energy. It's super efficient. We don't get rainfall in the summertime, so we have to irrigate our crops. We've started using drip irrigation about 25 years ago. Uh, it was through the initiatives of growers alone with no government intervention, no rules that required us to cut back on our water. I feel like the, we're making it through the drought because of this investment we made a number of years ago in this drip irrigation that we can keep irrigating our crops with less water. And that's really a part of sustainability. But all of these things I think provide a lot of benefits to our employees because they're working in a safer environment without toxic chemicals, with healthier soils and are able to, to eat the produce that comes off the field and that's grown very holistically. I put a lot of TLC into what I'm doing and I believe I'm producing crops that are what the marketplace wants. We've definitely been on a path for sustainability and a lot of it's just been because we're a grower-owned co-op and it's the right thing to do. It's, it's a win-win for us and for the environment.